So someone had sent us an email saying that they keep getting these carpet moths eating at their rugs. Do we have something that will help alleviate that problem for them? Well, yeah, but let me let me kind of back up and, and explain what's happening here. First of all, carpet moths only grow at a certain time of the season, and it's usually spring through about this time of year in the fall. And then they die off or they hibernate for the winter, and then they come back in full force the next year. So they're, um, they lay a ton of eggs, and they like wool especially. But more importantly, what they like is a dirty wool rug. So if you keep your wool rug clean, they usually won't attack it. They'll usually try to attack something that's dirty. So that's number one. Keep it clean and you'll probably notice uh, less problems with moths. I won't say no problems. But the second thing you should know is that there are products on the market that are designed to kill moths and there are products on the, design, uh, on the market designed to repel moths. There's a distinct difference here. We don't want to apply products that kill stuff that goes against what we believe. Now, if the rugs are here, of course we want to kill them, but we don't want to leave behind something that could potentially kill stuff. That's not safe for anybody. And besides, we're not pest, uh, pest control company, so we can't apply those without a license. So we wouldn't do that. We don't want to get into that part of, the, of, of being a, a pest control company. But we do have a product called Repel, and what Repel does is it makes the wool not taste as good for the uh, carpet or these uh, moths to come in. And when I say moths, it's the larva actually. It's not the actual moth itself. It's the larva that hatches, and they like to eat that stuff. So keep it clean. Um, if you do or have had a problem with carpet moths in the past, then let us know and we can apply the repel. It's very cost efficient and it makes it taste bad for the wool or for the uh, carpet moths. So we've, you know, nine out of ten carpet moths just don't like it, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure where they came up with that number, but uh, besides, I just kind of made it funny. So, um, no, it does help repel them, but keeping it clean is the big one. Keep it clean. Carpet moths usually stay away just from that particular thing. Now, if you store it, get it rolled up, you certainly want to have a repellent applied to it because humidity changes, um, that's another thing that moths need to grow is humidity. The food source is the wool, but without uh, a moisture source they tend to dry up and die. So if it's going to be in storage, you got hot and cold changes, there's going to be humidity in that rug, and if it's dirty then it just gives them more food to consume. So keep it clean, put on a repellent, um, if you have if you haven't moved this rug in a long time, take a look up underneath furniture. If you're looking for to see if you have a moth issue, um, they like to the dark. They like to hide out underneath furniture legs. If you haven't had it clean in many years, that's where we see most of it. Out in the open, you know you vacuum. They don't really hang out in the open, but a dirty corner that's underneath uh, furniture, that's where they like to hang out. So just take a peek there and. Keep it clean and have us put on a repellent.